Tomorrow, the huge cash splash aimed at breathing life into our empty cities. Would you commute to the CBD or are you happy to stay working from home? Plus, crikey, it's Erwin Month on yeah. Animal Planet. Terry and Robert join us live. We'll see you tomorrow. To finance for you, the market rallied after a tough start to the day. On news, our international borders would open from February 21, the All Lords closing flat. The travel sector given a much needed boost. Qantas, Flight Centre and Webjet all finishing higher. One Australian dollar is buying just under 71 US cents. It's buying 52 and a half British pence and $1.07 New Zealand. The average price for unleaded petrol sitting around $1.72.2 a litre, E10 $1.69.7 and diesel on average you'll pay $1.73.4 a litre. Here's Amber. It was a partly cloudy day with showers right across the Sydney basin and fresh and gusty southeasterly winds. The heaviest rain was across our western suburbs. Peakhurst, Guildford, Maryland and Lidcombe all picking up more than 10 millimetres. The city receiving 4 millimetres, 3 falling in Bondi. It reached a top of 22 to 23 degrees right across our west, including Penrith, Liverpool and Campbelltown. 25 the top in the city and 24 in Cronulla, although it did feel a little bit cooler thanks to those winds. A few showers along the New South Wales coast today, 8 millimetres is falling in Yamba and Evans Head but much lighter falls elsewhere. Temperatures staying below average except in the far west only reaching 21 in Bega, 23 degrees in Wollongong and Newcastle 24 in Mudgee. Tomorrow onshore winds will bring some patchy showers along the south east coast while a trough and cold front will extend through South Australia leading to some showers. Let's take a look around the country tomorrow. Brisbane will be mostly sunny with a top of 30 degrees a possible shower in Canberra. Sunshine for Melbourne 31. Just a possible shower in Adelaide after a hot day 34 degrees a little milder in Perth heading for 26. Some very light showers expected along the New South Wales coast tomorrow and parts of the southwest slopes. It will be a little warmer heading for 23 degrees along the south coast, 24 degrees in Newcastle, 28 in Albury, Wagga Wagga and in Dubbo. And there is a hazardous surf warning still in place from Byron Bay all the way down to the Eden coast. Sydney will be partly cloudy tomorrow. There is a 60% chance of showers, most likely in the morning and the early afternoon, with light to moderate southeasterly winds. If that rain arrives, we're expecting two to five millimetres in the city, but it will be very, very light in the west, if anything, probably up to one millimetre. Warming up a little too, heading for tops of 25 to 26 degrees across our western suburbs, including Kellyville, Blacktown, and Liverpool, a top of 23 for Terry Hills and Cronulla, and 25 degrees in the city. Let's take a look ahead and we can look forward to two beautiful summery days. Wednesday and Thursday will be hot and sunny with tops of 31 to 32 degrees. Unfortunately on Friday though it will revert to the sort of weather we've seen over the past few days. Partly cloudy with showers right through until Sunday when it should start to fine up again and those nights ranging from lows of 17 to 21 degrees. In our west blue skies on sunshine on Wednesday heading for a lovely 33 degrees. Thursday will be sunny until a late shower heading for 34 a few showers on Friday and Saturday, 25 degrees before it starts to warm back up again on Sunday peak. Amber, thank you. Tracy is next with a current affair. That is Nine News for this Monday. I'm Peter Overton. I hope you have a good evening. From all of us, good night.